about how God operates. Hey, just learn a few things from this man. So how big was your house when you came in 2017? It was two rooms. Now let me ask a question. Was that your level really? No. Amen. Amen. Did you build two rooms and were comfortable? No. Hallelujah. I left a room for expansion. Amen. Amen. Can you tell us one of those rooms was the what? One was a garage, another one was a, a bedroom for boys. Hallelujah. So you were staying in the what? In the boys' room or in the <laughs> garage? Hallelujah. So how many rooms does it have now? I believe there are no thieves here. Praise the Lord. Now each room is self-contained. She has a garage. I have boys' wing and girls' wing. Masters, self-contained. Biigo mwebidi. It has a garage. It has a, a kitchen. Mulimu And the garage now has a what? A car. Praise Aine the Lord. Are there people who laughed at you when you had those two rooms? There is someone who called Miss Law, but sure. Again, I'm Paul and I'm Maririf. There are even those that laughed. You see him working in the city. But in two rooms. So now how do they call you? I served for the iron sheets for the whole year because it's the kind that I wanted. When I, when I left the Amen. Of course. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us appreciate him. And he's very faithful with his tithes and giving. Even amid this lockdown, that man kept tithing. You keep the money. Keep you almost would tell him, Bambi, zideke. But he would tithe. But he would give. give. And still the Lord will continuously bless you. Amen. In fact, he will build you. That one is not... That one is not a serious house for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. A serious one is coming. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not singling him for there are so many givers and tithers here. So many. But there are also many who are very unserious. They give accordingly. They only tithe when God gives them 10,000. When he gives them a million, tithe. how do I take a tithe to pastors? How? No. a lot of money. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the reason by the some of you are still having 10,000 because God knows you can tithe 10,000. Now ask your neighbor. Do you want to stop tithing just 10,000? Do you want your giving to go beyond? Be faithful in the little. Amen. Amen. Be faithful in the little. As a church, we want to see a way of helping you to walk that path. Because tithing is a principle God has put for us. And they told us it's for the weak in faith. So that man was giving 75%, uh, 100 and what? He said above 100%. You know, Hallelujah. Amen. 
For us, we are still struggling with 10%. There are people who give 20%. There are people who give 30%. David made an observation. He said, I was young. Now I am old. But I have never seen the children of the righteous beg for bread. Meaning, he had seen children of the misers. He had seen children of the thieves. He had seen children of the politicians. He had seen children of those crooked people. Me, I'm not very old. But I have seen also the corrupt officers. You go to their homes. You will see what you don't want. What you have never seen. Very corrupt guys. Amen. Some of them are Some of the kids are not everyone with a zonto is like that. But some of them, because of not being clear and straight, there is a way God rewards them. They have all the money. They, pay, they have already paid the tuition. But every time the children come and they are the last, they are at the bottom. Hallelujah. Amen. Church, we need to be faithful. There is a God in heaven who controls everything. Here. How, how many are teachers here? Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand if you're a teacher. Hey, we are teachers. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The bright kids, are they always from those posh families? The ones who pay school fees uh, day one. The ones who are never chased for school fees. Are they the ones who always top the class? Hallelujah. Amen. Me, I was chased in Ginger College. Eh? The school knew me, I was a prefect. They used to call us chiefs. But I was a chief who was always on the list of the class. To the extent that one of the teachers, he would come and pass his kaboko in the, in the class. Oh, now, okay, now I can begin a new topic. Uh, where is Kaboko? Kaboko oh, I'm sorry, Kaboko is not here. We're not handling a new topic. Hallelujah. Amen. I was just until I got so tired. So one time I went and said, God, do a miracle. I'm tired of being a fizz defaulter. And God did a miracle. The day I went to Ginger College with all the bank slips, the deputy head teacher held my hand. See, whose shop did you break? Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you, he was he knew me. Because to join Ginger College day one, Nakoma could get because I didn't I didn't have all the fees. So when I was able to pay, whose shop did you buy? And I said, God has provided. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you, God can provide. If you're clapping to our Jesus clap. They went to improve Julizwa. Amen. It has not been easy. Even you is being chased. I don't no. want you to say that I would have done better, but fees. You can lack fees and still be number one. In the name of Jesus. You can be poor and your children still get a first class. Can I hear an amen? You're like not hearing what I'm saying. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
Amen. We've been learning about giving. And today I want to tell you about Jesus, the multiplier. I know every day we are giving, we are giving, we are giving. But who are you giving? When you give the devil, he steals, he kills, and destroys that business. Hallelujah. Amen. There are places God has instituted for you to tap into a blessing. And I want to tell you, if this is your local church, this is the place. We have stood on this pulpit. Even when it was not this beautiful. And every prayer we prayed, the Lord has answered. Hallelujah. Amen. Some are short prayers. But God answers them. Amen. 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 Hannah. For a long time, she used to go to Shiloh. And she would give a double portion. She never gave up going to church. She never stopped giving. And one day the Lord remembered her. Even when Penina was scorning her, the day God remembered her, she gave birth to Samuel. None of Penina's children is known. Maybe these can help me. Pastor, I'm giving you an assignment. Look for the names of the children of Penina. But for Hannah, who God remembered because of her faithfulness, the first boy began to prophesy when he was a boy. He would hear the voice of God when Eli could not. When you're faithful, the Lord is faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's turn to the book of uh, Matthew. Matthew 14. I read very quickly. Jesus the multiplier. You give him little, he multiplies. I also don't understand how. But that's what makes him God. Amen. You cannot outgive God. Our God is a giver even when you give the last penny. Even when when you give your whole. I'm telling even those who have been manipulated, he still blesses them. Because giving is a principle. And what giving does, prayer cannot do. What giving does, prayer cannot do. What giving does, fasting cannot handle. Can I hear an amen? Hear a better amen than that. Amen. amen. Tell your neighbor, this is a principle. You do it, he blesses you. You default it whether you are anointed how. Haven't you seen anointed people who are broke? After delivering the whole church, they can't even afford boda boda. Praise the Lord. Amen. How do you explain that? Amen. Amen. People have been healed. People have been de delivered. People have been they have received miracles. I'm requesting for and that was the preacher of the day. Giving cannot be replaced. Matthew 14 from verse 13. When Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. He had had the news about the death of John the Baptist. John had been beheaded. It was sad news for his cousins going. 
But Jesus withdrew to a solitary place. The crowd followed him on foot from the towns. Hallelujah. Amen. Where Jesus went was an isolated village, yes. a desert. People left the cities and followed Jesus. And for the minister, that's why we need Jesus present here. People should come from the cities and come and be blessed You clap for that in the name of Jesus. When you have Jesus with you, wherever you are, people will come and they will be blessed. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Amen. Amen. He healed the sick. He had compassion on them. He ministered to them. He blessed them. And as evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place. And it's already getting let. Send the crowds away so that they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus replied, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. Hallelujah. Amen. And the disciples said, Jesus, you're joking. We only have two fish and five loaves of bread. Right. It is not even enough for us. We are wondering how are we going to survive on this? Because ministry is continuing. And we are already 13 of us. And we not even had other followers who were part of the group. And they said, this is not even enough. And Jesus told them in verse 18, bring them here to me, he said. Bring them here. Do you have what's not enough? Give it unto Jesus and watch what he will do. And turns our lives around. Bring them here. And he directed the people to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied and the disciples picked up twelve basket full of broken pieces that were left over. And the number of those who ate was about 5,000 men. Besides, besides women and children. And in the first service we calculated that together it could have been a crowd of 30,000. 25,000 women and children Plus the 5,000 men. Jesus was teaching his disciples to give. Tell your neighbor, ask your neighbor, can you imagine? Ask your neighbor, tap them and say, can you imagine? I say, talk to your neighbor, can you imagine? Two fish. Five loves. 30,000 people. Tell them we have to give to this God. Amen. Amen. I don't know how it happened. But it happened that we may learn something. Ask a neighbor, tell them if you can't learn from this, then you will never learn giving. These guys were hungry. 
And they had two fish, five loaves, wondering it's not enough for us. Remember, these were men, moreover fishermen, ex-fishermen, who get a whole fish and smash it one person. Now they were seeing two little fish. Fish. Two little fish. Amen. So bring it to me. And that's what the Lord wants of each one of us. Give that little to him. And he will multiply. And he told them, sit the people down. And he looked unto the heavens. Each time you're giving, look unto the heavens. Don't look at us. Don't look at Kaboko. Don't look at anybody. Look unto the heavens. The Bible says in James 1.17 that no one receives a good or perfect gift except it be given by the heavens. So as we learn to give, let us give at looking unto heaven. Amen. Amen. Take Tell your neighbor, look unto the heavens. Mugambe, mugambe. mugambe, mugambe. Tell them, if you're giving, look unto the heavens. Look unto the Lord. Look unto your creator. Hallelujah. Amen. And he looked up to heaven and he gave thanks and he broke the bread and he broke the fish and he gave the disciples and when they got and they were also hungry the Bible doesn't tell us that they started eating and they started giving out to people Amen shake your neighbor and tell them even if you're very hungry, you need to give in the name of shake Jesus. Them, shake your neighbor. That even if you're very hungry, broke. even if you're very broke, broke. even if you have debts, even if you're doing badly, even if you don't have, give in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't wait to be rich. I see Peter very hungry. After you finish giving 30,000 people, there was no one to help. It was only 12 people serving 30,000 people. At home, I see my wife. Sometimes she's done serving when others have finished now eating. It's a family of about 15 only. If she was the one serving on that day, I don't know. Amen. What amazes or what makes me wonder. After they've eaten and they're satisfied, their women after waka. even putting in their handbags, we know women what we do with Our those things. Where there is food we don't drink. And <laughs> especially meat and fish. The grandmothers packed for their Bible grandchildren. The Bible says after they were satisfied, and they were leftovers. The disciples were 12. And there were 12 baskets remaining. Those who had fish not enough. Everyone went home with a basket. You clap the Lord for the Lord for that. Amen. Amen. How many grannies are here? If you're granny. Even us, we are grannies at home. Amen. Grannies never run out of grandchildren at home. The life of the grannies depends on the grandchildren. If you want to see 
a judge are doing badly. A judge are telling them to screw a dog. The judge are without a grandchild. They don't mind if the child is six months. You find a very old woman with a little baby. And they add them another baby. And they add another and they are like ten. But I've never had the children to the grannies. But she has one child and the child is doing badly. Jaja has eight and they are all healthy. They eat leftovers and they are looking good. Amen. I have never seen children being raised by grandparents and they are malnourished. But I have seen a parent with two and and the kids Where is the secret? Giving. A judge will give. He will give. They will give. Tell your neighbor Let's be like grannies. Amen. 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 When you go to your granny's place, Mudachi Kagaba. They will give. Bagaba. Tell a neighbor to verenga va judge. Let's be like grannies. Mukama evas. Amen. Amen. Amina. When you go to your granny's place, Mudachi Katano, Unecho Kuria. Charlie Lakova, Mama, Avena Kuzino. But you visit these today's mothers. Appointment. If you're not on an appointment. Even on appointment, we come with other people to eat. All this thing, what you're going to eat. You tell me about your program. How you tell me about your program. They are not talking about your program. They are talking about what it takes to host Why you. Why would you have a program? Is there a judge who asks for your program? They just bring what to eat. They say, children used to sleep over. Yet there is even nowhere to sleep. But these today's mothers. Amen. Sleeping over. And you came from the village. Those who come from villages are in trouble. Those who come from nearby, it's okay. But village visitors, you be like you're an interview. Tell that woman next to you, stop interviewing your business. Give them food. Give them drinks. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Is it a problem that we come from visiting? Won't we visit you, you people in the city? Amen. But when we go to the village, they never ask us those things. If you visit your village and they ask when you're leaving, just know your village is a bad one. Because, because they love you and they bring the milk, they bring the shawe, they bring the mzigo, they bring the meat, they bring and bring. They bring and bring. They bring and bring. Those Westerners, they love going to the village. When they have a child, they want to go to the village knowing they will be given a cow. And then they go and they are given a cow. Amen. Even people from Central learn to give cows. In Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Why won't the wife give you ten children? Every child given to you receives a cow. Every child means a cow. Can you tell them about family planning? Praise the Lord. The Lord multiplies so many times. Let us learn to Set give, free friends. To give. Set free, let's learn to give unto the Lord. As it ministry, there are so many needs. 
We are expanding landwise. May the Lord speak to you. Here we shall not manipulate you. But I promise you, if you do something out of the usual, and you're doing it for the Lord, you will be blessed. Amen. 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 You will be blessed. Bless. I don't even need to know. You can take it to the accountant. You can send it on the number they told you. And we expand. We make better this place. When I was telling people we need to pave the parking, this man paid for, for where? In fact, Uncle Steve, you're not supposed to park there. You park, find a spot which is paved and park there. Hallelujah. Amen. That car is new on the roads. <laughs> it should be in a new parking place. It shouldn't be on the soil. Even others when they buy uh, looks at park, begin to park where it is paved. Hallelujah. Amen. Unless if you want to extend the parking that way, it's fine. Amen. Are we learning something today? I want to learn this principle of giving. May I give even when I don't have. I know they tell you to okay. save. Some of you in your situation, even if you serve for 10 years, if it's not the Lord to bless you, you may not buy that plot. As you save, learn to give to God. If the disciples had saved their two fish and five loaves, they would have starved down there including themselves. But they served and each of them carried a basket full. My prayer for you that you will learn to give to the maker who multiplies. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Learn to give to God who multiplies. Nice. Some of you don't tithe. But your tithe is ever going to hospital. Ask your neighbor, are you tired of that hospital? Christ, you Why don't you give the healer? This week I was talking to one Mzungu. I understood that the wife was not doing well. And she has been in that situation for a long time. And I told him, I want to pray for you. After praying for him, I told Pastor him, I said, Pastor, thank you very much. We've been in this situation for a long time. But as you prayed for me, and you reminded me that I should trust I said, that in our land, we have been in our land, but so many years we've gone to so many specialists and they don't heal us. It's Jesus who heals. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give that Jesus the healer. Let's give Jesus who gives Let's give Jesus who raises people up. Amen. 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 I want to pray with you. We did this in the first service. We rarely do this. But we are going to give an unplanned offering. As we wind up. Get into your bag. Get any amount of money. I will not tell you how many millions. Or how many coins. Or whatever. But get an offering. And this offering. It is breaking that thing that has been hindering you. In Gaba one time, the day God delivered us from being misers, he sent us a preacher and the preacher watched people giving. Church was already beautiful the way it is. 
But the giving was so miserable. And after the giving, this pastor came on board and said God had spoken to him. And he apologized before he acted. He said, Pastor, what I'm going to do may it offend you and the elders. But I'm under instruction to do it. He got the offering and he poured it down. But I'm telling you, it was all coins. And he asked the children to come and pick it. The children came and picked. And he told them to go and buy whatever they want. Bought pancakes. Bought sweets. Bought bananas. Bought whatever. That day was a party for the children. And he told the people. You see what you had given to the Lord? It is for sweets, pancakes. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, now we are going to give. That day they collected four million shillings. It was the first time. The very people had given for sweets. Without moving out, God moved the men. And that was how Gaba got delivered. So get into your pocket. The ushers, let's bring one basket here. And let's have the anointing oil. We want to anoint your hand. And this is my prayer and belief. The Lord is going to release you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amina. We've been in bondage for so long. People are testifying. People are progressing. People are advancing. And you're in a very, very, very church. And you're there saying there is no anointing there. There is no anointing there. People are flying out of the country. People are building houses. Lives are changing. We have our mama here. Mami, obade wa nene akajuwira. How many have you seen board planes? In this place. The Lord has transformed people who are no wenyini. Get hold of that offering. And lift it up. And I want to pray. And quickly you're going to come and give it after the prayer. You give and anoint your hands. You tap into the anointing place. Now for you to understand, this is oil. It is a symbol. Amen. I don't want you to say now, set free what is happening. Amen. Amen. Whenever God wanted to distinguish people, would anoint them. I want to anoint the, the hands. Those, those hands that make money. And pray for financial freedom. And if you've been defaulting in your tithing, in your giving, let it be the end in the name of Jesus. Lift up that offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your people. I bless you. For I have done what you told me to do. I have ministered. I have spoken the word. And I believe that those who have been coming the whole of this month, they are somewhere in understanding the principle of But specifically today, we have learned that you are the multiplier. And as we give to you what we hadn't planned, as we give to you our last penny, as we offer unto you, multiply, 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 and make us cheerful givers. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Come and give in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. You give and then you tap into this anointing and anoint your hands. Just run, 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 run in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.
Amen. God is a faithful God. May he remember you and bless the works of your hands. Hurry up, hurry up, we are winding up. God bless you, Mama, in the name of Jesus. God multiply you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord amaze you. Let's come in a line so that we don't mess up the place. God bless you. God bless, you. God bless the works of your hands. In the name of Jesus. The Lord amaze you. The Lord multiply you. The Lord increase you. In the name of Jesus. The name above every name. In the name of Jesus. May he liberate your finances. And those of you who didn't have what to give, you can as well come. God is a faithful God. Come, come, come. And liberate yourself.